How the bloody hell is everybody? I hope you're all okay. I'm gonna do a repot today and just have a chit chat and fill you in on everything that's been going on and why I'm in this weird and wonderful place right now because life is very interesting. I have these two Maran Maranta, Maranta, that sounded very posh. I have these two Maranta that I picked up for $3.99 and these two have varying levels of variegation. You can kind of see on this one here and there is some on here too. Um, I don't have any, I only have stratum here, stratum and pon. So we're gonna put them in stratum, I think. Um, and, and I'll explain to you why that is in a second. So I'm going to lower you down. I'm going to talk while I just take these out of their pots. And um, yeah, let's see what the roots look like. You, you're very, you're balanced in a very odd way because I don't have my tripod <laughs> or anything. Um, so we're going to figure this out. Don't worry. Does this work? <gasps> I think it's gonna work. Look, let me pull my top down. So here are the plants. This is the first one. We found these locally. And um, this one, the new growth has some variegation on it. And this one, it's the older growth that has some variegation on it. Actually, no, this one does too. Um, so we're gonna take them out of here we're gonna have a look at the roots and we're gonna decide, I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do. I might have to push you back a little bit. Let me see if I can do that without you falling off. There we go. That works. So I have this funky sweater on that has these little thumb holes. I'm gonna take that off so they don't get, and I have to use newspaper because I don't have my mat or anything here. So as you all know, there might be, I'm expecting there to be bugs in here. I did check for bugs because I do see a little bit of probably previous uh, bug damage. You see the roots here look pretty good. I might end up putting one of these back in the soil that it's in. Um, we'll see. But I'm just gonna uh, just gonna lightly have a look at it. So. You guys know that recently I went into hospital because I was having horrible stomach pain that wasn't going away and ended up needing to have my gallbladder removed. And I've never had anything like this before. So it was very, I just needed the pain to go away because it was awful. And um, this is, these are really wet. It's always kind of wet, right? When you pick them up from the nursery. Um, and so, you know, I was in hospital, I think for four days. I didn't, I was in because I was in a lot of pain. They did the operation. My days are all muddled up, guys. But they did the operation, I think it was a Saturday night. And I came out, out of hospital the next day. And literally, as soon as I woke up from the anest anesthetic, um, I just felt so much better. Like I was not in any pain. I was saying to the nurses in recovery, like, am I on some good meds? Because I don't feel any pain. The pain is all gone. And, uh, and they're like, you're on some meds. But honestly, from then it was just kind of like plain sailing for me. Um, I just, I couldn't wait to get home. I was, I wasn't taking any pain medication. Um, so from going from kind of the night before to like <laughs> sobbing uncontrollably because the pain was so bad to like basically skipping around the hospital. I had laparoscopic, that's it. I had laparoscopic um, surgery. So I have like four, I had four, well, three small cuts and then one larger one around my tummy button. Um, but I have healed great. But a couple of complications. So after the surgery, uh, the surgeon came to see me and said that um, she had found that I had a hernia too and she had fixed the hernia. So a hernia I didn't know I had, but 
like once she told me I had a hernia, I kind of, I was like, oh, that's what that weird pain is sometimes when I roll over in bed. So I kind of, you know, knew then what it was. It was a pain that just, it felt like a real, a tugging pain. But as soon as I changed position, it would kind of go away. I got home on the Sunday. It was Thanksgiving on the Monday. And Quinn came home on the Monday. So I basically had one day at home um, just on the couch and you know with this idea that I was the surgeon had said like you know you need to be off work if you're working for four to six weeks and you know no lifting no you need to take it easy that kind of thing and then on the Tuesday when you know Quinn got home on the Monday on the Tuesday Quinn um Ian tested positive for COVID so he wasn't feeling well on Tuesday he had a bit of a just you know sore throat and nothing no cough or anything but we haven't none of us have had covid up until this point um you know we have to be very careful because of quinn's autoimmune disease so we've you know we still continue to mask and you know all that stuff and um so Ian tested positive, so it was just like, okay, I guess Tony can't rest anymore. So we basically, you know, isolated Ian and I slept in the basement and, you know, we we basically didn't see Ian for, I think it was 11 days um, with a positive test. And so Quinn and I and Ian were testing every day and Quinn and I were both negative and Ian was positive, positive, positive. I had my show with the Windsor Orchid Society. I think this might be as good as it gets for this one. I mean, it has awesome roots. I'm not worried about them. So I had my show. So I and my plan was always the show was in Windsor. I live in just outside of uh, Kitchener Waterloo in uh, in Ontario. So Windsor is about a three hour drive from me, but my in laws live in Chatham and they. Um, and Chatham is about an hour from, from Windsor. So my in-laws are in Florida on vacation for a couple of months. So the plan was I would stay at their house um, and do my show and then come home. So I came down, the show was on Saturday. I came down on the Friday. I'm going to split this. There's one. Come on, cutie patootie. There's two. And there's not three. I'm going to take this leaf off because it was nearly coming off. So my the plan was always that I would come down to Chatham and I would stay here, do the show, and then come home the following day. So that's what I did. The show was awesome. Like it was my most successful, financially successful show. But also the people were, um, like, if you have an orchid society near you, you, you need to join because everyone was just so, was just so nice. It was, it's clearly a community and I'm sure different chapters are different, but, you know, these people were just, they were, inc they were incredibly kind and thoughtful and, supportive and encouraging and it was just it was just lovely honestly and financially it was a great show for me so uh, I did the show I got up on Sunday morning Ian messaged me and said uh, he is negative but now Quinn is positive <sighs> so we decided that um, that I would stay here until she got a negative test because I have some heart problems, COVID's a bit of a challenge for me too. I don't think this plant has any variegation, so I'm gonna actually split them by variegation and put the variegated ones together. Yeah, this one doesn't have variegation. This is the one that has variegation here. I'll have one variegated and one non-variegated, which sounds pretty cool to me. So I have been, I'm not going to say stuck because their house is, you know, beautiful. 
but I, I'm here on my own without my baby who is sick. Um, we've been having regular check-ins with her sick kids team and, you know, we've, we know what to do about holding off on her medication. So we had a great relationship with, with her sick kids team. Um, so she's been okay. Uh, she's, she was quite sick. You know, she tested positive. She felt like she was fine, like no problems. And then, um, I'm glad I'm doing this guys. Cause this one is like soaking wet. So I don't know. Um, and then, so this was Sunday. So then probably like Tuesday was her worst day. She's out with a cough and just feeling you know, crappy, although this kid never sleeps, I'm not kidding. The whole time that Ian was sick, um, Quinn has really bad insomnia right now. And, um, you know, her and I have just been up basically for hours in the middle of the night because she's struggling to fall back asleep, not for want of trying. She, she really tries, she reads, she bless her she really tries it happens with her every so often she's never been a good sleeper um the last few years she's been much better but right now we had a change of medication which is impacting her sleep we're hoping that once you know her body gets used to the medication she will um start to sleep better but we'll see so i've been exhausted i haven't rested at all and i have been stuck here stuck i don't want to use that word stuck because honestly my it's like it is like being on a resort the house is so nice but the day before i left for the show or maybe the day of the show um i had a follow-up with the surgeon and i had noticed that i had a lump on my tummy where the um where the wound was for on the tummy button, around the tummy button, like I have a very firm lump there. And so, um, you know, she asked me how it was, she went through kind of what happened and how everything was, and there was no, she had no concerns, the pathology all came back okay. She's like, do you have any problems? I'm like, no, just I have this lump, but I'm assuming that it's just swelling and it'll go down. She's like, let me have a look. And she's like, oh, I'm guessing that you've not been following orders and not, you know, taking it easy because your hernia is back. It's like, oh my God. So she wants me to heal up for a little bit and then she's going to try and fix the hernia again. Um, but I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling great, honestly. I think that even though I didn't think that this gallbladder thing was impacting me. I think it had been, because I now, I don't know, I feel healthier, I feel less kind of bloated and blur. Um, I have more energy, like I just, I don't know, I feel better. So I'm kind of glad it happened, uh, to be honest. And, and I'm very grateful that I, you know, I think when they did, they did an ultrasound on me and when they did that, they were able to, I was kind of on the borderline of it being um, like an emergency. I think normally gallbladder, they would send you home and then you'd go on a wait list, but they managed to, um, the ER doctor managed to, find a surgeon who was a different hospital I had to transfer hospitals which was fine there are two hospitals in my um in my area and you know I had to I waited for four days as opposed to waiting for six months because wait lists are, are long right now so um I feel you know very privileged that I was able to get the care that I needed and uh, and to feel so great right now <laughs> So today I have missed my girl and Ian so much. Um, I got up this morning and I just needed to see them. So we went and had a porch visit. We, um, we hung out outside. I brought them dinner and some little surprises. And um, we had our pool delivered today. 
Uh, so I got to have a look at the pool and we walked down to the river, Quinn and I, and we kind of caught up. We both wore, wore masks and it was, re it was really, she cried when she saw me and I cried too. I just, I've missed her. She was just so happy to see me. We spent like a couple of hours just outside. The weather was really lovely this afternoon. And we walked down to the river and we watched some fish jumping, which is really cool. I'm gonna split this one too. I'm just determining, trying to determine where I'm going to split it. It's not as apparent as on the other one. Great roots though, guys, hey? And no plug, which is interesting. Are good, I think. I know people say the plugs don't matter, but they do to me. Like, I, not kidding, like, I struggle with anything that's in a plug. Okay, what am I gonna do here? So, you can see that this is, you know, the, the, this is a good opportunity for me to split. And I just pull as low down to the root as to the stem as I can and I'm just trying to keep some roots on there so there you go there's the first one so does this one oh this one does have a uh, pretty good variegation on this one so I put this over in the variegated one let's see if we have another natural but yeah this one like it has a new growth point here too. And this one also has some variegation. The lighting in this house, Ian's parents really like the mood lighting. So the lighting is just awful. I hope that nothing is too dark for you here. So I don't think this has um, any variegation on this one. So we have, we have this bunch here. that is not variegated, I don't think. And then we have these here, one, two, this is beautiful, three. Um, so I think I'm gonna part these two together and I'm gonna pop this one separately. And I'm going to put the non-variegated one back in soil. So I have to use this, guys, because I don't have anything else right now. Uh, but the soil actually looks good. It has, you can see it has lots of perlite in it. Uh, and some coarser perlite too. I don't see any signs of bugs. I'm thinking I might do one separately that's not variegated in stratum because I'd be interested to see if the stratum encourages some variegation so i'm gonna split this one further okay so i just put some soil back in the bottom of here and then i'm gonna put them all back in and hope that it doesn't hate me for for messing with them too much I need to find a nice cover pot for this to go in as well. So I went to see them today. We spent some time at the river. We kind of caught up. We just hung out. I brought dinner. We had dinner outside. Um, and Quinn's test today was, I'm still testing negative. Um, Quinn's test today was a little bit lighter. So we're hoping that by the weekend she'll be negative and then it's just managing the symptom, the cough, and, um, you know, making sure that cough remains productive and that she doesn't get pneumonia. And, uh, and then I can go home because Ian's going to the States next week to, um, for work. So we have to, he's, if he cancels, I'm going to kill him. He's been talking about canceling. He's canceled this trip so many times already. He really needs to go, and Quinn and I will be fine. There we go. It looks pretty good, I think. And then uh, we're going to move all this over here. And um, I have some pots, and I have some. This is, this is what I'm selling. So a little pot of stratum on the top, and then pot in the bottom. 
which I think is really neat. I'm going to put a couple in the shop uh, and just see how they sell. I'm also thinking about doing a, a bit of a giveaway on my Instagram. Um, so you guys should go over and uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pawn in the bottom. And we're going to do this one first. I'm just getting off, you know, as much of the soil as I can, but I am, again, not precious about this. I don't worry too much about it. It's a really nice root system on this one. Okay, then we're going to add a layer of spartan around those roots. And then... We will top up with corn. So there's the first little cutie in, um, in stratum. Well, stratum pong mix, that's number one. I'm sorry about all the mess here, but it is what it is. I'm doing the best with what I have. I can't, I can't have sticky tape on it. Like, no. I got an itchy eye. All right. And then we're just gonna do this one that is the non-variegated one that I just wanna see how it does in pond. So I also have um, a bag of new imports here that I picked up today. Uh, we, we did an import, last import of the season. We ordered it a while ago. I think it's been a ship in a week. It arrived today. So after I've done this, I'm going to be just putting them in water, not really spending too much time on them. And then probably the next video will be about, um, will be about that import. Okay, that's it. I hope that was a good catch up. It's 28 minutes. I wonder how much I'm going to edit that down to. Um, so please do forgive me. I have my cell phone um, with the flashlight on to try and give some light because, the, like I said, the lighting in here is not great. I'll give you an update in a month or so about how these plants do. And in the meantime, thank you so much for supporting my teeny channel. Make sure that you're hitting the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. I really appreciate you. And we'll talk soon. Bye.